Hello, I'm Typo T Rex. And I'm Jester. And we have another Yavel Toll deck. This is the expanded version. This is the original version I was working on for expanded. Uh, I have another one that I've been tooling around with, but I, I want to, you know, play with it a little bit more before, uh, you know, I shoot a deck. Gosh, so many on. different cards. Yeah, there are a lot of different cards in it, but part of it is also. Um, I don't have the same arts for everything, so it looks bigger than it actually is. Okay, so this, of course, is a Yveltal deck. The whole point is to attack with him and just instantly knock stuff out. So I'm going to explain the engine to you, because there are a lot of cards involved to do a very simple thing, and it looks like there's a lot of cards and it just doesn't function like it's supposed to. But generally what your game plan is is you play a battle compressor and you search deck for any three cards and send them to the discard pile. So the three cards are generally a combination of Ho-Oh, which when he's in your discard pile you can flip a coin. If it's heads, you put him on your bench and you attach any three energies to him. So that's how you get your energies really fast. And then you send your energies to the discard pile with the battle compressor or any of the other plethora of discard cards we have. And then once you do that, once you have your Ho-Oh set up, you use Ninja Boy. Ninja Boy takes that Ho-Oh, shuffles him into the deck, and then you get another Pokemon from your deck, and you place him on your bench, and then all those energies are then attached to that new Pokemon. And after all of that, you can attach uh, a double colorless energy or a twin energy, and then just swing for a knockout. So this deck works better as a first turn deck. But there have been plenty of times where I've lost the coin flip and just one-shotted stuff on my turn, too. Because you can do it. It is possible. It happens. But getting those extra turns on, on coin flips is super important. Now, this is a, an expanded deck. I think this is our first expanded deck profile. Yeah. Um, so there are a lot of cards that you guys probably aren't going to be familiar with. So I'm going to gloss over the ones that you guys have probably seen before. Uh, like Oranguru. You know what he does. He's important because... Uh, the Yvelt Holds have to be in the deck for the Ninja Boy to work. Yeah. So if you're holding one, a lot of times you just put him back into the deck before you play the Ninja Boy. So that's why the Oranguru is in there. He's actually super duper important. Also, extra draw. Uh, Crobat, we know what Crobat does. We already looked at the Yvelt Hall. We've looked at the Ho-Oh. So one Oranguru, two Crobats, four Yvelt Hulls. He's your only attacker, normally. Uh, <laughs> four Ho-Ohs. I say normally for the attackers because sometimes you have to do silly things and attack with Ho-Oh. I've gotten... A lot of kills with Ho-Oh. He only does 80 damage, but Metal decks run rampant and expanded. So I'm like, I mean, it's a two-shot, and I don't have anything else to do, but I guess we'll, we're going to play this out. Oh, why did... Because oh. he didn't do anything for a long time? Yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, and the next card uh, is is super important. Um, it is Propagation Execute as, as we're loading. If you've never seen that card, what it does, it when it's in the discard pile, you can put it back in your hand. And by itself, that doesn't seem phenomenal. It doesn't seem game-breaking. And then you realize, I'm playing four copies of Quick Ball, four copies of um, Ultra Ball, four copies... Uh, not four copies of Ultra Ball, but the Computer Surge. So anything where you have to discard a card, you're always going to have a card to discard as long as he's in your discard pile. So that's another card that gets sent to the... Um, the discard a lot with the battle compressor if uh, I have all the other pieces I need. The Dene's, we know what the Dene does. Uh, the Mew is in here because he copies uh, attacks of any of your other base Pokemon in play. Uh, there were a couple times where I ran out of attackers, I didn't have enough Yveltals, so I did put him in there. I don't like him as much because that means I have to have another Yveltal in play for him to copy, but that happens a lot in this deck, so it's not that bad. And if I don't have a Yveltal, on the bench for him to copy. That means they're probably all in the deck anyway, so I just don't play him. Yeah. Or he gets discarded for, like, uh, something. Like, if you get a good setup turn one, you could just play the Mew and swing with the Mew first. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Acrobike. Card's uh, busted. I love this card. Uh, it's not as good and expanded as it was, you know, before it rotated out, but look at the top two cards of your deck and put one of them into your hand and discard the other. Um, there are a lot of cards that you want in the discard. The Ho-Oh, the Execute, um... Let's see, where is it? All of your energies. Uh, occasionally, a Ninja Boy, which I'll explain when we get further on down why that works. Um, but yeah, Acrobike is phenomenal. Uh, Battle Compressor. Again, I just went through all the cards that you want in the discard pile, so you play four copies of that. Um, if you see two copies of Battle Compressor in your first hand, you generally win, because that's everything you could ever want. <laughs> um, computer Search. 
This is an expensive card. It's very hard to find now. I traded like 40 packs for it, oh, <laughs> um, which was more than I should have, but I wanted to guarantee that I was going to get it. Uh, but discard two cards and then search your deck for any card you want. Generally, what you search for with this is the Battle Compressor. Sometimes you've already seen those, so you grab something like one of your energies or the Floatstone. Um, but yeah, generally what you want to grab is the Battle Compressor. Ordinary Rod is important. You never want to put the energies back unless you're having a super bad day. Generally, you just want to put the, your, your Veltals back. Um, quick Ball, Consistency, discards uh, the Ho-Oh or your energies, because when you draw that stuff, you're like, well, I, I need this out of my hand, and I need it out of my hand fast. And it searches for your you know your Crobats or your Dedenes or their rank Rangaroo if uh, you've already burned those other options. Uh, special Energy Charge or Special Charge. Uh, sir, shuffle to that's busted. Yeah, you get to put any of your special energies back. So right now you'll notice that I'm playing five, but this effectively takes me up to seven. Um, or even if you only hit one with it, you know that's enough to matter. Um, you need this in Durant Mill. Yeah. Uh, in later versions of the deck, I've actually ended up just staying with my four twin energies and keeping that instead because it, it functions as the same thing and it's more consistency. Uh, have you seen Trainer Mail? Yes. This card is ridiculous. Uh, look at the top four cards of your deck. Reveal any trainer card you find there and put it in your hand. And then you shuffle the rest into your deck. That's really good. Uh, normally what you end up getting with that, if uh, if you see Battle Compressor, grab it. That is the whole point of this deck. <laughs> so be able to look we at the four top cards and be like, all right, no Battle Compressor? All right. Mm, do I need the ninja? I, it's, it says trainer. It doesn't say item, right? Yeah. It's trainer. Yeah, yeah, so if you need your ninja boy or the versus seeker or a float stone, it, it grabs you whatever you need. And after a battle compressor or two, generally all you're hitting is trainers. Uh, so trainer mail is phenomenal. Ultra Ball, it's Ultra Ball. Discard two cards. Search for any of your Pokemon again. Um, it, my favorite thing is... When I end up with like four copy or three copies of Ultra Ball in my hand and a Quick Ball to start, I'll go. All right, Quick Ball, grab the the execute, discard another card uh, for the the Ultra Ball, grab Ho, -Oh, put execute back in my hand, and just cycle through all of them real fast. Get all of your Ho Os. Yeah. yeah, execute. He he's just he's he's straight gas if you can get him early enough and you see the cards you need. Um, so Verse Seeker. If you haven't seen Verse Seeker. Put a support, supporter card from your discard pile into your hand. So essentially what this has done, uh, I only play three supporters, um, but this has turned you know, my Ninja Boy. Instead of playing three copies of Ninja Boy, I am now playing seven copies of Ninja Boy. Do I need that many copies of Ninja Boy? No. No, I do not. But sometimes you have to battle compressor and Ninja Boy into that, so you have better chances to draw into stuff. There's also one copy of Guzma. I'll be honest. I've played this deck a lot over the past few weeks. Uh, Guzma has only been relevant in like two or three games. So you could probably get away with cutting Guzma in this because you have to play Ninja Boy basically every turn because your 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 Veltal is going to die. Expand, and if it doesn't too fast for that. Yeah. And if it doesn't die, great. Just attack yeah. with it again. What is your opponent doing? <laughs> yeah. Like if you get two attacks off with one your Veltal, you've won. Um but yeah. Uh, one Chaotic Swell, because in Expanded, you have a lot of stadiums that just turn off abilities, and um, that really hurts when your entire deck re revolves around Ho-Oh. And Execute. <laughs> <laughs> and Execute, the yeah. Dene. Yeah. So, uh, there are times where I wish I could put another Chaotic Swell in, but there's you just... Petra Guzma. Uh, th we'll talk about that in the, the other uh, video, if and when we get around to it. So, Swell is phenomenal. I hate that card. Yeah. Uh, we know what Guzma does. We already went over the Ninja Boy. Uh, Float Stone is Air Balloon, but better. It's hiding energy for everything. Yeah. Uh, it just reduces your retreat cost to nothing. So that's, there's three copies of Float Stones, and if you'll notice, most of the Pokemon have a pretty hefty retreat cost with, I, I say hefty, it's two. I can play Air Balloon instead of the Float Stone, but Float Stone is just better. So yeah, Float Stone bypasses yeah. Galar Mine if anybody decides to try to run that. Yeah, and, and you see that every now and then in Expanded, so it's, it's, it's relevant God, enough. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, it's not always there, but sometimes you see it. Anyway, uh, you play one... I play one double colorless and four twins. Arguably, you could go the other way. It doesn't matter. They function the same way. five. Yeah. You don't play any GXs or Vs, so... Uh, and arguably, again, you don't even need five, since we have the special charge. And then two of each energy. Originally, I had three in here, and I was like, 
I I just don't need that many. You just recycle yeah. them over and over again with Ho-Oh. Yeah. Uh, the only bad part is I think there's been like two, maybe three games where two copies of the same energy have been prized. And I'm like, well, I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose to this. But I'll swing with Ho Oh for <laughs> for sixty damage a couple times. Why not? So and I'll <laughs> steal an early game knockout. Yeah. Get, a, get the energy. Yeah, because again, you see that a lot in expanded too. People playing like those little Pokemon. So sometimes Ho Oh will kill stuff and be like, all I need to do is hit you know that one copy of Dark Energy that got prize, and you know I've got a you know thirty something percent chance of hitting it. And once I do that, we're gold. Uh, but you know that's the entirety of the deck. Um, are there places this deck can grow? Uh, yes, one hundred percent. Um, like I said, I'm playtesting a new version uh, with some Fusion Strike cards. Two of the big ones being Cramomatic and the Pukumuku. Cramomatic is essentially, uh, I'm going to say a JV version because that's the Smash Smash player in me yeah. talking, but it's just the worst version of Computer Switch. Um, because, again, being able to search for any card you want is just phenomenal. Yeah, you have to discard another uh, item and then you have to rely on the coin flip. But look at how many items I play. There are a lot of times that these cards are just dead. Like, I play three float stones because I need them when I need them, but once I have one, I do not need two more. Yeah. So a lot of times those will get discarded. Uh, you know, if the Verse Seeker is dead, I'll discard it. God, so many times Ultra Ball is dead. Well, not as much in the new version because Pukumuku is always in the deck. Uh, because, you know, four copies of Quick Ball and four copies of Ultra Ball, it's like what after a certain point, oh what God, do you... You just deck thin and then search <laughs> and then draw another card. Yeah, Pukumuku is busted in this deck. And, uh, you know, I just... Because you just need that one more combo piece, uh, but that's you know that's the other version of the deck, and we'll we'll probably see that in a in a week or two. But that's it for this deck. This deck is so much fun. If I ever play expanded IRL, I will play this deck because uh, it, it's that much fun. But I've been Typo T Rex, and I'm Jester, and you've been watching us here on YouTube slash Typos Games. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, everyone.